This is a brief tutorial where I would like to show you how you can preview MIDI files in the PreSonus Studio One Digital Audio Workstation software. This can be very useful if you have a large number of MIDI files and want to browse through them to see which ones might be right for your project. I happen to be using Studio One version 3, Artist Edition, but the process is similar in other versions of Studio One. For this tutorial, I am using a MIDI pack by Ugritone, who makes many different MIDI grooves. Uh, this is from their Death Metal Essentials MIDI pack, which is a collection of drum grooves. First, I'm going to start by just creating a blank song to use as a canvas to work on. Uh, you can just as easily do this from within a song you're already working on. The basic idea is that you can preview the MIDI file through any instrument you like. I'm going to start by creating a blank instrument track. Then I choose an instrument for the track. I'm going to use contact, but really you can choose any instrument you like. Drag the instrument over to the track. Because I chose contact, I now need to choose a sample library. Because I'm previewing drum grooves, I want a sample library that will have the standard MIDI mappings for drum kits. I'm going to choose Abbey Road Modern Drummer. Now, navigate over to the Files tab on the right-hand side of the screen. Browse for where your files are located and expand the folder to see all of the files. Again, I'm using the Death Metal Essentials by Ugritone, so here's its folder with all of the individual MIDI grooves within it. Highlight a file name that you would like to preview. When you do, you'll notice little play controls appear at the bottom of the file list. These are the preview controls and are independent of the main controls. Just click the play button and the MIDI file will be previewed through the instrument you had selected. Notice that in the preview controls there's a little loop button. This is particularly useful with drum grooves. When this is selected, the MIDI file will continue to play in preview mode until you physically press the stop button. If you deselect the loop button, the MIDI file will only play through once and then will automatically stop playing. And here it is demonstrated again this time with loop mode turned on. As you can see, the MIDI file looped back to the beginning once it reached the end. When previewing drum grooves, I tend to like to have the loop turned on for most patterns, but I prefer to turn it off when listening to fills, intros, or endings. I'm going to minimize the instrument window so we can see the main work area easier. When you find a pattern that you want to use on your track, just drag it from the Files menu over to your track. It's now part of your track and you can play it normally through the main transport controls. The MIDI notes from the original MIDI file are copied over to your track and you can edit them if you like. Note that you're editing a copy of the notes. The original MIDI file will not be affected if you edit the patterns in your track. And that's really all there is to it. This preview feature in Studio One really makes it easy to browse through a MIDI library and choose the grooves that are right for you.